Hi, I'm Dr. Covert. Uh, feel free to call me David. I'm going to be a professor for Math 1320 in spring 2021. This is, uh, the course is Introduction to Probability and Statistics. I wanted to take a few minutes and introduce myself and show you around our Canvas site, as well as show you our syllabus uh, and kind of just hit the highlights of, of what we're going to do over the semester and what you can expect. So when you log into Canvas, this is going to be the home page that you'll see. And the home page has a few pieces of information that'll be useful for you. The first, and we'll walk over this in, in just a few, um, we'll look over the syllabus together. The second is that every Wednesday at 9.30, I'm gonna have optional problem solving sessions just to give a little bit more opportunity for some practice. Those optional problem solving sessions will be held via Zoom. Uh, and here's the Zoom link here. So this first Zoom link is the one that'll be relevant for the problem solving sessions. This is in addition to my usual office hours. So we'll have office hours, I'll have office hours 1 to 2.30 on Monday and Tuesday. And the link for that is here. These are different Zoom links. I just want you to point, I just want to point out. And then the final thing is that we're going to do all of our homework and quizzes and tests on my math lab this semester. And for my math lab, you'll need an access code. And here's the access code. It's also on the syllabus. And I'll show you where that is uh, in just a minute. If you were to look, click on the syllabus link, it would pull up this window uh, with the course syllabus in it. You can download the syllabus if you feel like it. And again, I'm not going to read over every detail of the syllabus. It is seven pages. Uh, but I do want to hit the highlights here. So the first is that I'm not going to be on campus much, so please do not call and leave a message if you expect a timely reply. If you need something, just email me. I'm very responsive to email. I'll have office hours Monday and Tuesday from 1 to 2.30. It's entirely possible that you're working during that time or have a different class, uh, and that's okay. Just email me and we can set up an appointment. We can either communicate via email or I can even set up a, a Zoom meeting for us on a case-by-case -case basis, so just email me. Uh, I'm, like I said, going to have a one hour problem session on Zoom. Everything else that we're going to do is going to be done asynchronously, meaning that you're going to be able to do it on your own schedule. But I would encourage you to kind of keep a regular schedule of when you do what classwork. So if you want to do stats, like if you want to pretend that you're going to have stats every Tuesday, Thursday at nine o'clock, uh, whatever, just to make up a time, just as long as you're consistent, I think that'll help uh, with you um, just being a little bit more consistent over the semester and getting a little bit more done. Okay, obviously my main method of communication will be email, so just pay attention to email. As far as the software goes, uh, like I said, we're going to be using my math lab, uh, and I'll talk about that in a second. This is the same access code that I posted uh, on our Canvas site. Okay, you do not need to purchase anything else. This has already been purchased for you using the auto access program. Our course will offer supplemental instruction, and what that, what that is, is it's basically going to be a, a student who took the class previously and did very well, is going to lead uh, kind of some group study time. It's not remedial in any sense. It's not there uh, to help you, like, it, it's not there to fix anything necessarily. It's just to give you more practice uh, as far as problem solving goes. So our SI leader for the semester will be Warren Trong, and here's his email address. Uh, and as soon as I know what his office hours will be or what his regular schedule is, I'll post that in Canvas as well. Okay. If you do need help with anything over the semester, you can contact Warren. You can contact me via email or in office hours. Uh, you can stop by the Math Academic Center. And then the programming software that we use, the uh, uh, homework software that we use, is my Math Lab, and that has lots of built-in resources. Uh, in particular, if you're doing a homework or a quiz or something, there's an Ask My Instructor button. And what that does is that basically sends me an email with your version of the problem. And then that way I can help you a little bit quicker. Um, like I said, homework, quizzes, and exams will all be on my math lab. So we'll talk about my math lab in a second. Right, here's our tentative schedule for tests. So our first test will be Sunday, February 21st, cover chapters one to five. Um, our second and third tests are listed there as well. And then we'll also have a midterm and final project. So we have three tests and then a final project and then an optional midterm project. Uh, and that's uh, going to be basically the, the test that we'll have. So there's no final test for us, just a final project. As far as the final projects goes, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to use uh, some software this semester called R. And R is statistical computing software. It's free. You can download it here. Um, so if you click on this link, what comes up is the comprehensive R archive network. And then you can download it for whatever system you have. Um, so I have a window, or I have a, a Mac, I mean, so you would hit this and then it would follow uh, the link. Just download the latest package um, if you're downloading R, uh, or you can also download what's called R Studio. Okay, and so uh, if you want any help with that, just let me know. If you don't want to download R, 
So just to show you, there's another link in here called rstudio.cloud. And what that is, is it's basically the software uh, that you use in the cloud. And so you don't have to download anything. The only thing I have to say about RStudio Cloud is that uh, if this were to go down, there goes your R program. So it's not the best scenario. If you're able to download the program, um, I, would, I would definitely encourage you to do that. If you're on an iPad or if you're on a, a Chromebook or something like that where you can't download R, uh, then RStudio.cloud uh, is gonna be a good solution for you. Uh, for the semester. So that's everything to say about R. Download R as soon as possible. Um, it's going to be over the course of the semester, I'm going to teach you how to use R. And when we cover different topics, R is very useful for statistics. So we, when we get into uh, statistics, we'll talk about what are the different codes that are available for R. And I have a list of all the codes that we'll need over the course of the semester. Uh, in the modules page, I'll show you that. But I would encourage you to download R and kind of play around with it as soon as you can. Right away, you can download R and then kind of use it as a calculator. You know, you can do addition and multiplication and, and subtraction. And even though that's kind of silly, I think just kind of getting used to R would be a really good idea as soon as possible. Okay, so that's R. As far as the homework, like I said, homework is going to be done uh, using my math lab. Homework and quizzes are generally due Sunday nights. Okay, so read this over as far as using my math lab, uh, particularly read it over carefully if you've not used my math lab before. Here's the grade calculation. So how much each uh, component is going to be worth for the semester. So I'll have three tests at 100 points each, homework and quizzes at 50 points each, and then the final project is 40 points. I do not use plus or minus grades. So uh, I just A, B, C, D, F. Uh, and then the only chance that I'll give for extra credit is that uh, there's actually two is the optional midterm project. Um, so the midterm project is not computed in the grade here. If you don't want to do the midterm project, that's fine. Uh, but it's just a chance for you to use R uh, to do some sort of statistics or to run some statistical tests. And it's good practice for the final project as well. Um, so there's that optional midterm project, which I'll just add 10 points to your grade. And then uh, at the end of the semester, if everyone does course evaluations, or at least 80% of you do course evaluations, I'll add some points to everyone's exam three. Okay, so that's really all I wanted to say uh, as far as most of this. Um, course policies are very straightforward, academic integrity and plagiarism. Um, so if you, for homework, wanna work together in a group, that's totally fine. Uh, for quizzes and exams, uh, this is uh, your own work, okay? Quizzes and exams are gonna be timed, um, just so that you're aware of how that works. Uh, but do take academic integrity very seriously. If you have any questions about anything, just let me know. Uh, if you're registered in disability uh, access services, so if you're uh, registered in DAS, uh, or if you're a student athlete and you'll need to travel, or if you're going to need to travel for your work or whatever, if there's anything basically that I need to know about you, just let me know and we'll happily deal with that. And then again, at the bottom of this is just some uh, technology support as far as some different options for you of who you can contact. Okay, basically, if you have a problem, try and find a, a good solution here. And if you need any help at all, just send me an email. That's totally fine. Okay, so it's really everything I wanted to say about the syllabus, except I guess I should mention that we also have a course calendar here. And this is just a tentative course calendar. This might change from week to week if I feel like uh, there's a group of students that need to spend a little bit more time on one topic versus another. You know, this is a little bit variable, but this is how I basically have the course set up. And I'll show you what that looks like uh, back in Canvas. Okay, so there's the course calendar. Uh, final projects are due Monday, May 9th at midnight. Okay, so that, that due date is there. So that's really everything I wanted to say about the syllabus. Uh, the next thing I wanted to point out is the modules link over here. So if you notice, there's the modules link. And when you click that, what's gonna come up is this list here. And here's some auto access information. This is basically information about how the auto access program works. Auto access is a program wherein you've already paid for use of my math lab. Uh, you, that's kind of built into the tuition. And then um, that means that you don't have to pay anything more uh, for using my math lab. So if you have any questions about that, just look over this auto access FAQ or contact the library if there's any further questions. As far as what you're gonna do during the semester, I have this broken down week by week. And so I have our course agenda here. And so if we were to click on this uh, page here, what I have is I have a, a week by week breakdown of what I want you to do. So I have a, a list of videos already set. 
and um, this list of videos is going to have all the topics that you need to look at. Uh, and then once you're done with these topics, you can go in and you can complete the My Math Lab homework and quizzes uh, it, for whatever chapters you've just talked about. So uh, what I would what I would do and the way I would suggest doing this is I would watch the videos and then I would try the relevant homework. And then uh, assuming that all that goes well, then you can try the quizzes. So again, quizzes are timed and there's only, uh, I only offer a few attempts per quiz, uh, but that is uh, how I would suggest to do that. So in the first week, I, I want you to watch these videos, log into my math lab as soon as you possibly can. And then um, if time allows, download R, okay? So I would, I would, I should get rid of the word if time allows. I would, you should download R as soon as possible and start using it as a calculator, if nothing else, just to get used to it. So that's the first week. And then the next week, I have a very similar setup. So I have, here's videos uh, that, I've, that I've created. And then uh, watch those videos, uh, do the homework. And then um, uh, once you're done with a, you know, watch the videos, do the homework. Once you're done with the homework, you can work on the quizzes. And I'll continue to post material as we go along of what to do when. Okay, so that's the modules page. One other thing I should mention about the modules page, that was actually just the course agenda. I also have a list of handouts here. Uh, for the handouts, I have the list of R commands. So this is a, a Google document that I have set up. Um, there's a formula sheet and tables. Uh, and so this is a, a thing that comes with the actual book. And then all the PowerPoint presentations that come along with the book as well. I have a, an old midterm project. So when it comes time for the midterm project, this will give you an idea of what I'm looking for. So this is both the problems and the solution for the midterm project from fall 2019. And then any other handouts, I'll just post here. Okay, that's the idea. Uh, I, I should mention when I say formula sheets and tables, uh, tests and quizzes and homeworks, of course, are all open book, uh, but they're timed. Okay, and so you still need to know exactly what you're doing uh, and you'll, uh, I'll, I'll post some practice questions and you'll see exactly the level of difficulty there uh, and how those will work. So there's the formula sheet. You can definitely use those during the exam and I'll talk about exams more when the time comes. Okay, but that's all I wanted to show you about the modules page. The assignments page isn't really gonna have anything that's super relevant for us right now. This is just a place where I can put in all the different uh, assignments that we have. Um, I think the only time you'll use this assignments page is when we're gonna do the mid, uh, the uh, midterm project and the final project, but otherwise this is just for the gradebook purposes. The last thing I want to point out is uh, my my lab and mastering. So this is my math lab. If you click this link and then you open up, so you're going to click this yellow button and it'll open up my math lab for you and it'll automatically link to the course. It's already set so that when you come in via Canvas, you can access my math lab this way. You cannot access our course in my math lab any other way except through Canvas. Okay, so you have to click this button. So there's no other way to, to access the course um, going to like mymathlab.com or whatever the website is, it doesn't matter. So you don't access it that way. You always access it through Canvas, okay? Um, I'm in Safari right now. So the app that I have open is Safari. My math lab just doesn't work very well with Safari and I don't know why. Um, so I would suggest if you use a Mac, um, to uh, use Chrome. That seems to be the best browser for using my math app. I haven't tried Firefox, um, but definitely do not use Safari. So I would just stick with Chrome. Other than that, my math app works pretty much with whatever software uh, you have. And so I would encourage you to open up my math lab, poke your head around there, start the homework if you like. Homework you have unlimited attempts, so there's no harm in trying any of the homework when you want. Okay, but hopefully that gives you an idea of what the semester is going to be like and, and what you're going to be expected to do. If anyone has any questions about anything, feel free to send me an email. Uh, otherwise, I look forward to meeting you all. Have a good day.